Hello, we are off to another great school year. For all of the new employees in the district who may not know this, each month I try to give a superintendent's report on the last board meeting. So here's your board meeting report for the month of September. First of all, we did approve bills in the amount of $6,311,926.84. That's a little bit higher than normal. Mostly it's because we ordered some buses and didn't receive those until after the start of the fiscal year so those expenditures came out of this year's budget but it's still in line with what we typically see during the month of September. Under superintendent's report I reported to the school board that we are officially up 347 students right now compared to this same time last year and it's really spread out evenly pretty much throughout the district. Uh, we are up 180 K through 5 students, up 65 6th through 8th grade students and up 102 high school students. So we always love it whenever we are a school district of choice and our families come back to us or uh, we see new families coming in. So we do continue to grow in the independent school district. Uh, we have uh, a veto session that actually occurs uh, this week and many of you may be following this in the paper of what uh, has been termed by the governor as the Friday favors. And those are 10 bills that would affect the revenue that comes into the state of Missouri. So the governor vetoed those bills and we will see if the legislature has enough votes this week to override that veto. Obviously it's a concern of the school district if those uh, bills are overridden because certainly that means less revenue to the state of Missouri, which in turn could mean less revenue to the independent school district. Under new business, we have the approval of changes to the Board of Education policies, and we also have the approval of changes to the Board of Education regulations. Now, a lot of people may ask, what's the difference between a policy and a regulation? A policy, if you want to think of it as an overarching theme, or really a something from the 10,000 foot view. So it's pretty broad. Uh, a regulation narrows the scope of the policy down to really how it is interpreted at the building or district level. Now a policy requires two readings and this will be our second reading for policies as we did the first reading last month. Another piece of new business is the approval of the Ford Next Generation Learning Master Plan. We started on this journey really about a year ago in partnership with the Independence Chamber of Commerce and then the four Next Generation Learning Academies. Many teachers, community members, and parents, along with central office staff, came together to form this master plan to really address one of the four pillars that we talk about all the time, and that is college and career readiness. We're very excited about this. We will be one of just a handful of school districts in the country that are four Next Generation Learning Academies Academy school districts. Uh, we have the presentation of the district's assessment plan. We actually opened the assessment window this week, so we have a plan of when each of our tests in the school district will be administered, and this is the approval of the, by the school board for this assessment plan. Uh, we are awarding the bank bids by Missouri state statute, school districts have to put out for bid and then award bank bids every five years. And we always wanna make sure that we get the very best value for our dollars, not only whenever we deposit money within a banking institution, but also for the services that we received, such as our purchase cards or our interest bearing accounts. Uh, we have the approval of the 2014-15 transportation routes. Uh, this year we have 262 unique individual bus routes that we transport kids every day to school. Uh, it's actually up six routes from last year. We had 256 last year. Obviously with more kids that means we're going to have a few more routes. So again this is well within reason and we're actually became more efficient this year and are using fewer buses to run those 262 routes. Uh, the last thing is really a piece of great news and that is a presentation on the school's MSIP score. I'm very proud of what we were able to accomplish last year. Uh, we came up with 80% uh, on MSIP 5 
and really we were just this close to gaining a number of more points on attendance and academic achievement. But really, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing because with the great job we did last year, I see more growth in our future and uh, next year we will keep at it and I'm sure our MSIP 5 score will go up once again. So with that, that is your September board meeting notes. Uh, it's a great start to the school year and I really appreciate all the work that everyone has done in making this a great start to the school year.